Shane Jones once again hitting out at the Indian community. Over the weekend, he told News Hub Nation he wants a maximum population and New Zealand needs to think about the kind of country we want. We should debate it and there should be a mandate rather than opening up the uh, options unfettered and everyone comes here from New Delhi. I don't like that idea at all. You don't like the people coming from New Delhi? Oh no, I think that uh, the number of students that have come from India uh, have ruined um, many of those uh, institutions. Ms Ardern says Mr Jones wasn't in Cabinet today, but she plans to have a strong word with him. On many occasions I've witnessed Minister Jones be both loose with his language and also be wrong, and on this occasion he was both. This follows Mr Jones last year, saying that if the Indian community was unhappy with the policy around partnership visas for arranged marriages, they could get on the first plane home. Ms Ardern stopped short of calling Mr Jones' comments racist, but Waitakere Indian Association President Sunil Kasho says they absolutely are, and Ms Ardern needs to ensure this sentiment doesn't keep repeating. This is a three strikes out kind of a thing. You know, she needs to really have a chat with uh, her cabinet and the leader of uh, Shane Jones's party. That his behaviour is unacceptable in a multicultural, multi-ethnic, diversity, inclusive New Zealand. This is not who we are. Mr Karshall says the Indian community contributes so much to New Zealand's economy and society, and these comments are unwise. We have doctors, lawyers, solicitors, you know, in very high professional uh, areas and uh, making these comments uh, about the Indian population again uh, is uh, very immature and it's not the right thing to do and I think this can't go on and on. This is not the first time Ms Ardern has had to give Mr Jones a slap on the wrist and while the language is tougher the realities of coalition government remain. I absolutely disagree with the statements that he's made but I also have to acknowledge that he is not a member of my party so it's going to be obviously the case that from time to time we will disagree. That is why we are in different political parties. Mr Jones' outburst came as the Trade Minister David Parker and Foreign Minister Winston Peters, Mr Jones's boss, were in India discussing ways to strengthen ties. This morning Mr Parker dodged questions from Morning Report's Susie Ferguson about whether Mr Jones's comments were unhelpful. When you're having a debate about population you've got to be careful about language. Um, Was he racist? Uh, uh, no, I'm not going to say that. Um, uh, Was it dog whistle politics? Uh, well, it's not for me to comment upon the, uh, po- the comments or politics of other political parties. Ms Ardern says while she's been advised the comments didn't have any impact on the trip or our relationship with India, it goes beyond that because it affects our local community. Uh, and I take that very seriously, which is why I'm very, very clear. I totally disagree with Shane Jones. I will be telling him that. Uh, And I will also be asking him to reconsider the way that he talks about these issues in the future because I do not believe it is good for New Zealand. But National Leader Simon Bridges says Ms Ardern needs to do more. He singled out a nationality for criticism and said they shouldn't be coming here. Uh, And then, of course, it's not good enough for the Prime Minister because she's effectively tut-tutting but doing nothing on the basis that this is someone in another party. Well... Shane Jones is in another party, but he is also a senior minister of hers. Mr Bridges says there are obligations under the Cabinet manual, and Mr Jones needs to be reprimanded properly. From Parliament for Checkpoint, Yvette McCullough.